Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. Excuse the way I look because I just really want to get this prophetic word out. And yeah, so let me pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord God, for a brand new day. We thank you, Lord God, that um, we can come before you and come together in fellowship. And Father God, I just honor you and Mm, that you be glorified in our meeting, Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that, that your voice be heard. I ask that your voice be heard. Let it be all of you and none of me. Father God, and and uh, give us clarity and revelation as this word comes forth. Uh, the sh bind, we can't bind and cast down every bad relation, retaliating spirit of the enemy back to the pits of hell from which you come in Jesus' name. Anything that might try to distract us from getting your word, in the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And so, um, I had this dream, y'all. I was watching uh, Kevin Ewing's uh, video this morning uh, on the spirit of excellence. And it was basically about how, like, he, he was bringing forth some points of, you know, why the spiritual fathers and mothers really isn't a good thing. So, I watched a little bit of it because it was really early. And I kind of like to i like to let the word play as i sleep because i want to meditate on the word i don't need nothing distracting me in my dreams i need the father to come through and like you know what i'm saying tell me what he need to tell me that's just how i am okay so you should try it your, your sleep will be way more peaceful too but this is the dream i had so i said this dream is weird i know it was more to the dream but it wasn't clear there were there was a young lady and a young man and they had a crush on each other and i was uh the girl's mentor and i believe i led with my opinion first instead of giving her the word of god and so i misled her by giving my opinion and i, I but i did correct uh what i said and tell her well don't don't have sex with him even if he likes you so the guy had been chasing after her for a while and uh all of a sudden we were in this room like a hotel room and she um and he were i guess she finally decided to give him time of day and i fell asleep on the bed like in my dream i'm sleeping that's weird that's like the first time that's ever happened i've seen it happen on movies but besides the point and so um i don't know what they did or whatever because that it kind of like flashed and i wake up no, my mama busted in the room and I'm like, mama, why are you here? Why are you here, mama? This is kind of like, I'm like, mama, what, what's up? And it was weird because my mama don't wear bonnets and she had a bonnet on in my dream. And so she was searching for something and I'm just like, okay. And then she started talking about like her, her, her man or whatever. Right. And so she leaves the room and then i was like okay well maybe i had i wrote this down maybe it was because i left the video on the spirit of excellence is why you know that but then um i believe the guy had went to work and he came back he gave the girl food and so because they weren't there when my mom was in the room but it's it's just weird y'all so next thing you know um it's like I'm sitting sitting by the headboard of the bed and the guy's at the foot of the bed and he's watching the girl at the vanity. You know how like the hotel rooms have like vanities and they have a sink. So she's like brushing her teeth or either like washing her face or something. I don't know. But he I was watch, looking at him look at her. And it was so weird to me because it was like the young young lady was like bent all over like with her butt, you know what I'm saying? Trying to seduce or whatever. And so um then we leave out of the room we go downstairs and we meet this older lady and she says to us like me and the girl and because the guy was still upstairs so and she says tell him to pay me my money back and she yelled it out and so he he i guess he came outside and he heard and he was like do what and so she says i tell him come on we'll meet up and then as we're going the lady walks with me and the young lady and we're going down the stairs and she screams out jeremiah 1817 and i say to her that's good pull that verse up so we can show it to him 
So we go around the corner and down the stairs and we sit at the table and he comes down. It's like he changed clothes or something. And she pulls the verse out, uh, the phone out and shows him or whatever, but then I wake up. So, um, I wake up, I write the dream down. Um, I pull the scripture up and it was, hold on. Okay, so Jeremiah eighteen seventeen says, I will scatter my people before their enemies as the east wind scatters dust. And in all their trouble, I will turn my back on them and refuse to notice their distress. And I'm sitting there like meditating on the scripture. And I'm like, okay, God, is this what you want me to give your people? And in the spirit, I hear this horn. And I'm like stuck for like a minute or two just hearing the horn. And then I hear battle horn. And so I'm like battle horn. And so I, I said, like, maybe I'm tripping. So I look it up and the first video that pops up is what I heard. It was so crazy. It, was, it like blew me. It blew my mind when I heard it. So don't forget like when you get a chance to either stop this video now or at the end google battle horn in that first video that's what i heard i'm asking god for confirmation and i open youtube up and i say god i need confirmation if this is what you want me to tell your people and god shows me a vision of a white guy and he has in my vision the guy i guess he was trying to make me know that it was a white guy right because the white guy had blonde hair and but he had like a a darker colored beard and then i hear he doesn't believe and i said huh and so i look down and as i'm scrolling i see this and i'm Tell me something God did in your life personally to prove he exists. When I was 18, I kept seeing the number 1134 over and over for months. And I realized the number 1134 is hell when you flip it upside down. So I shouted out to God, hell? You're going to send me to hell? Well, you killed my dad. You killed one of my best friends. I don't care if I live or die. So I don't really think you're a good God. And I really don't care if I go to hell. After that, I fell asleep and had a dream that I died and I was standing in a room lit up by torches. And a man walked up to me and looked me right in the eyes and said, I don't know you. And then he shoved my head through the floor. The screams that I heard, the heat that I felt, and the images that I saw, I truly do not wish on my worst enemy. Then my head got pulled back up through the floor and I woke up from my dream to see my alarm clock flashing 1134. Go ahead and try to tell me how all that's just a coincidence and I'm crazy. yeah so crazy right it's so crazy and so i believe that god that's why god has been having me to come on and talk about like us not doubting him and you know just believing him and us repenting and god actually has been telling me about him god is angry that he think okay whoo lord jesus God has been telling me that he is really angry because just like in the times after Joseph had died, remember Joseph and the, um, the dreamer and, um, after the time Joseph died, the people of Egypt forgot about how powerful he was. And so uh, probably about a year ago, God started showing me that he was about to do something, but I wasn't like, you know, coming on or nothing like that. It was just my personal time with the father. And so I really believe God is saying, get ready because it's about to be some stuff that's about to happen. It's about to, like, he's saying, get ready because, you know, it's people doubting him. It's people that don't want to repent and like, I'm not the person that want to like bring forth a word like this, but 
you know what I'm saying? God just keeps showing it to me and I have to be obedient. So if you are one of those people and you're watching this video, please go to the Father um, yourself and, you know, repent. And I'm actually going to pray with you right now. Um, here in this, Well, here in a second, I'm going to pray with you. But, you know, just search the Father, seek His face, you know, get in your word, get in your prayer closet. And because it's about to be some things that's about to happen and we don't need God's wrath on us. Okay. Like I know life is hard, but life can't be that hard. Like the absence of God is hell. Okay. So I need the father with me at all turns, every turn he needs to be there with me. That's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? So the father is saying, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. And, and then I was like thinking about the part of the dream where the girl was being over and it's like the final seduction you know like these seducing spirits that's like really rampant right now so be careful like what you're ingesting meaning like don't be looking at them horoscopes i know it's tempting and you say you a pisces and you a leo and and, and you a you know scorpio and sagittarius and all that but you need to let that go because that's not of god and um like all this other stuff is like new age stuff is just another way to get you distracted away from the father the father is not pleased with those things so he's telling us to get ready get ready because something big is about to happen and he's also going to pour out his wrath on some very wicked people praise god so father god in the name of jesus we just thank you god for time to turn our faces back to you god and seek your face and not your hand as the hypocrites do oh god father god in the name of jesus we repent lord god for anything lord god for not believing you lord god for doubting you lord god for moving in unbelief oh god father god heal our unbelief oh god help us lord god to get even closer to you in the mighty magnificent name of jesus christ lord god help your people lord god lead us and guide us by your spirit oh god god you're awesome you're so mighty oh god right now in the mighty magnificent name of jesus christ lord god do a new thing in us lord god regenerate restore Restore us, oh God, that we might get our harvest, oh God. But most, most certainly, Lord God, that we might please you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, help us to do what's pleasing to you, Lord God, and not just ourselves, not our will, but your will be done. In the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, I hope that you will share this video with someone that really needs it, whoever God puts on your spirit. Please be sure to share this video with them. And uh, don't forget, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for more notifications. I have, um, I mean, first and foremost, the word of God to give you, you know what I'm saying, prophetic words. And also, I have other exclusive content. Praise God. And um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.